Hey everyone, before we begin, I would appreciate it a lot if you guys can help to subscribe to the channel by clicking on the subscribe button as well as to help like the video. It will really help out the channel a lot. I appreciate it. Thanks. So in the previous video, we have left off at Bandit level 26. So let's continue from there. We will need to minimize the console so that we can get a prompt to break out of the more command. Let's press V to launch the VI editor. We have already done this in the previous video. For more explanation, please visit the previous video. Now we have an interactive shell as Bandit 26. Let's continue the challenge. So in the current directory, we can see that there are two files. This is the banner file as expected. So let's take a look at the other binary. So this is a SUID binary. That means when we execute this binary, it will be executed with the permission of Bandit 27, which is the next level that we want to get. So let's run the id command as suggested. We can see that we have the effective user id of bandit27. So this is pretty easy. We can immediately get the password for bandit27 and move on to the next stage. So this is the password for bandit level 27. Let's continue. Let's continue with Bandit level 27. Let's take a look at the objective for level 27. So this is related to the git command. It is recommended to read through the Wikipedia to have an understanding of how the git command can be used. Let's continue with the challenge. The challenge says that there is a git repository at the following location and we should git clone the repository and find the password for the next level. So let's do that. We don't have write permission in our home directory. So let's go to the temp directory and create a working folder. It seems that we are unable to establish the git clone command. It could be that the SSH server is not on port 22. Let's try and change the port number to see if it works. The connection seems to be successful, but we will need the password for the Bandit27 user. Let's get the password for the Bandit27 user. Let's try the git clone command again. Now it works. We are able to git clone the repository. And the password for the next level is in the readme file. So this is pretty easy. Let's continue with the challenge. Let's take a look at the objective for Bandit28. Similarly, it is another git challenge. We will need the password of the current user, so let's paste that here first. Let's copy the repository that we will need to clone from the challenge description page. We will need to change the port number again. We are able to git clone the repository successfully. So it can be seen that in the readme file, the password for bandit29 has been removed. This is the .git directory. It contains the metadata of this project. Let's take a look at the logs. It can be seen that there were 3 commits made which is essentially changes made to this repository. One way we can look into each and individual commit is by using the git log-p command. So let's do that. 
we can see that the password is not in the first commit. Let's try the second one. We are able to get the password from the second commit. The second commit added the password for Bandit29 and I would imagine that subsequently it is then removed in this commit description, fix info leak. Now that we have the password for Bandit29, let's continue with the challenge. Let's take a look at the challenge description for Bandit29. It is, again, another git challenge. So let's change directory and make a new directory in temp folder so that we can continue the challenge. We will need to git clone the repository again. Let's paste the password here first because we will need it. Let's change the port to the correct one. Let's copy the password for the current user. We are able to git clone successfully. Now it mentions that there should be no passwords in production. So this is a very obvious hint. There should be different branches in this repo. One way we can do this is to use the git branch -r command and we can see that there is indeed other branches available. Currently, we are in the master branch. Let's try the dev branch instead. We will need to switch over to the dev branch. I can't remember the syntax to do it, so let's google for it. How to switch branch on git Git check out existing branch This is how you can do it You don't have to specify the branch anymore Let's give that a try Now we are able to switch to the dev branch We should be in the dev branch now We can see that now we are updated We are in the dev branch instead of the master branch So let's take a look at the readme file again we can see that we are able to retrieve the password for Bandit30 now as we are now in the dev branch instead of the master branch. Let's verify the password for Bandit30. Great! This will conclude the video. We will complete the remaining challenges in the next video which will be the last video for the Linux over the wire Bandit series. There are only 4 more levels remaining. Please help to subscribe to the channel and like the video, it will really help out the channel a lot. Thanks all.